First, the Congress had its say. Now, Brazil's suspended President Dilma Rousseff has hers. She calls the Senate vote to impeach her a coup, a farce, a great injustice. With Rousseff suspended for six months, the interim president is her former VP, Michel Temer. Temer delivered a nationwide address earlier. And as for Rousseff, she vows to keep on fighting. CCTV's Paulo Cabral reports from Brasilia. Just a year and a half ago, Dilma Rousseff was ecstatic. Winning re-election by a slim margin, she vowed to unite Brazil. The opposite happened. Brazil is more politically divided than ever, with the Senate voting overwhelmingly to put their president on trial for manipulating budget figures. All representatives of political parties in the Senate and all senators inform that the president of the republic will be notified of the temporary suspension from office. As the senator said, Dilma Rousseff has to step down while that trial is underway. The process will last for six months. Given the number of senators who voted for the trial, a conviction by a required two-thirds of that body indicates her permanent removal from office is likely. Rousseff is still calling the process a political coup. Nesta condição, na condição. This condition, the condition of a president who was elected by 54 million people, to whom I say, at this divisive moment for Brazilian democracy and for the future of our nation, what is in play in the impeachment process isn't just my mandate. What's in play is the respect of the polls, the sovereign will of the Brazilian people, and the Constitution. This man is now the acting president, Michel Temer, a 75-year-old constitutional lawyer. He will have to deal with the worst recession in 100 years, growing unemployment, inflation, the Zika virus, and the corruption scandal that's threatening to engulf many of the politicians who just removed their president. I'm absolutely confident that we must restore Brazil's credibility inside and outside of the country. All this while the world will be watching Brazil for other reasons, South America's first Olympic Games. While the Games get underway, Brazil's politics will be at a standstill, and Rousseff will be watching from the sidelines until the trial that determines her fate. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Brasilia. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.